Morning staff, I have a short tutorial of how to find last year's scores to be able to help set a kid's, a kid's baseline for this fall star math or reading. When you log into Renaissance, you will see either star reading or math. Just for the sake of it, I will look under star reading. Under star reports, I, you will see here I have a number of them tagged. What I'm going to look at is the star growth report. This is the report that shows their last three tests that they have taken in STAR based on how you set it up. So in here, I'm going under the subject to reading. I'm not using either of the top two, so I am going under the reading test. Um, you can see here, I've already chosen Kim Hafer's uh, semester one English six. You will have to identify by kids the S.400.3. You'll see that that will be a way of identifying what hour it is. So in here, I'm gonna go back to last year, the 18-19 school year. The end of reporting, I'm going to use the fall, and then I'm going to go to the fall reporting in here. When I click Update Report, you will see in here that I have the last three fall assessments. Well, that's not quite what I want to look at. So I'm going to change this last one here to last spring to see if I can get a report of where they were at last fall to be, and then where they ended up. So here, right here, you can see White Anzel had from the spring of 18 to the fall of 18 he actually declined and then you can see in here last year from the fall to the spring which is actually going to line up with our QCOM goal this year that student grew 299 points the scale growth percentage with the expectation is 50 was actually at an 83 so like I said, I sent out something earlier last week, or excuse me, later last week, that had some type of goal sheet on it to sit down with the kids to set a goal with them. Um, my recommendation is if they go in and tank it, I would look at where they were at last spring and allow them to retake the STAR test to make sure we have a true test of where they're at. In this class right here, you can also go down to the bottom and look at last year's data where you can see the pretest and the post-test. The growth report only goes from the middle and gauges it to the next test. So the first score on here really has nothing to do with it. It's just a previous baseline. So you can see in here that this class grew by 125 scale scores or a 0.8 grade equivalency. And 13 of the 16 kids, because it only takes the kids that have been tested in both periods, actually met the median score or the expectation of 50, and they scored at a 65. So if you have any questions, please stop in. Let me know. Everything is ready to go for STAR testing this fall.